far in this series of videos that I've recorded for you about I Ching Astrology, you've been able to discover what your birth star is, your inner star, your outer star, and also how they relate to one another. Also on top of that, the concept that your star moves through a different house year by year. And you can now take it down another layer and realize that you also move around month by month. Now the position that your birth star takes month by month relates far more to your health and well-being, also to how you feel in an emotional sense. So as we move around month by month, let me explain some of the drift that comes with that. When any of us enter the one water house by the month, we tend to feel a little bit withdrawn or a little bit quieter, or we feel that the world is going past us very quickly. So don't go and do anything too rash or speedy. When you enter the two Earth star, again, it's a more mellow phase. It's a very grounded time, and we feel grounded. And what's a good use of your time when you're in that mouth month is to plan ahead your future. When you enter the three Thunder month, be on the lookout that you're not too impatient or too rash. And in Chinese medicine, the three Thunder position relates to the function of the liver. And the liver gives us our get up and go and our drive. The four wind house, again, is another speedy house. Watch out when you're in this house that you're not too impatient. Be careful during that month that you don't bite off more than you can chew, because it's the most exciting and the most inventive of all the different phases that you go through month by month. And sometimes when we go there, we think we can take on the world and do everything. In a five Tai Chi month, expect all kinds of changes. I can't predict what they are. But certainly things can unravel, new things can begin, but it's all for a reason, and it's always useful. As you enter the sixth heaven month, this is the time when you get very focused, very detailed, and at the same time, be careful that you don't get caught up in all of that, or too critical, because the sixth heaven star by the month also represents metal. So don't be too sharp in your criticism of others. And next, as you move into the seven lake house, it's a house of joy and fun and outgoing. That's the month to take a holiday, a vacation. It's the time not to take life too seriously. As you then head into the eight mountain house, it's the time when you want to be on the back burner a bit. A good time to study, a good time not to worry about your future, and a time to catch up on what you've promised yourself or others that you would do in your own time. And lastly, as your star enters the fire position, it's about you being warmed up, feeling outgoing, you'll feel passionate, you'll feel exuberant, but sometimes, like a chicken with no head, you can dash off in 101 different directions. So it's a brilliant house, but try and keep a little bit grounded. Now the meaning of these houses, month by month, is also in the I Ching Astrology reports, which are available on this site.